back to my channel. Um, today I've got a makeup tutorial for you and it's this makeup here. I don't even know if I like it. I don't even know if I'm going to upload it. If you're watching it, obviously I've uploaded it, but I don't know. So I woke up this morning and my eyes were extra hooded. Like the last couple of weeks, I don't know why, I could not tell you, but in the morning I've woken up and my eyes have not really looked hooded at all. And I've been like, okay. Today I woke up and like my lid was just <sighs> hanging down and I was like, I don't know why, but I did a winged liner and it just, uh, I'm not feeling it. You know when you do your makeup and you spend so long doing it and then you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, seriously, this is what I spent all this time on. But anyway, now that I've completely unsold this tutorial for you and you've probably clicked out of it, <laughs> keep watching if you want to see how I did this makeup look here. Okay, I'm going to start with my contouring and highlighting. Today I'm actually trying something different. I'm using, this is a new product I got. I haven't tried it yet, so it may be a fail. This is the Sigma Mellow Powder Blush. Yes, it's a blush. I'm going to use it as a contour powder though because if you look at it like that, it looks like it could be a good color for a contour. It's matte. It's got no shimmer in it. So let's try it and see how it goes. By the way, please completely ignore my hair. It looks so bad today. I cannot deal with it. I want to get it all shaved off. I'm going to apply this <laughs> blush as a contour with my Sigma F05 brush. kind of worked. <laughs> I think that would look better actually if I was more tan. I've like scraped all my fake tan off and you can see that because my chest is white and my face is darker because I completely forgot and I put my darker foundation on and then by the time I realized it was too late so that's another thing to ignore in this video guys. <laughs> For my highlight I'm going to use uh, Audrey from Gerard Cosmetics. Okay, so just then my battery ran out, so I took the opportunity to quickly do my hair. And I think that's looking a little bit better, well, a very little bit better than it did before. Oh, I'm going to apply my blush, which is what I was going to do before the battery ran out. And I'm going to be applying Blush Baby from MAC, going back to basic. I'll be applying that with my Angled Contour F40 brush. Okay, now I get to move on to lips, and this is what I've been waiting for all day. I don't actually know what I'm going to do with my eyes yet, but I wanted to wear this lipstick. This is one I got off my favorite website, Glambot, ages ago, and it's the Kat Von D Bachelorette Liquid Lipstick. I will put Glambot in the description box down below for you, so you can check it out for yourself. Okay, now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. This is my favorite brow powder of the moment. I've been using this for the last week and a half, and it's a new product. Um, well, for me, it's a new product anyway. I only got it recently, and I love it. By the way, I ah! no, oh, it survived. It is the Sigma Medium Brow Powder, and I apply that to my eyebrows with the Sigma E75 Brow Brush. I use this darker color here for the tail end of my brows, and the inner corner here for what? The lighter color here for the inner corners of my brows. Okay, so eyebrows are done. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to be using my Sigma Smokescreen palette today. It looks like this. I'm going to be taking this shade here, which is called Misty, on my Sigma E45 blending brush. I'm applying that to the inner corners of the eyes and also underneath the arch of the brow bone as my highlight. Then I'm taking Thunderhead, oh my god, I love that name, that is so good, <laughs> Thunderhead, ah, on my Delium Tools 787 blending brush, and that's acting as our transition shade, it's a matte, so if you have hooded eyes, you will like this colour, and I'm going to apply that all over my eye socket, bringing it up right high underneath the highlight that I applied. Then I'm taking the same Thunderbird colour, and I'm applying it underneath the lower lash line with my Sigma E25 blending brush. This here is some surgical tape. I just got it from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box down below. I'm applying that to my eyes so that I can get a nice straight winged liner. I'm using my Sigma E05 eyeliner brush because it makes it super easy. And hence my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. Gel Liner. I know this totally seems like it's sponsored by Sigma, but I promise you it's not. I just really like Sigma products, in case you couldn't tell. Then when you take the surgical tape off, it looks pretty okay. Now I'm taking Atmosphere, which is a real subtle shimmery berry color on a Sigma E20, and I'm going to be applying this underneath my lower lash line as well. 
I'm just going to use a smudging brush and the matte black from the palette, which is called Almost Jet, and I'm just going to deepen up underneath the lower lash line, try and make the eyelashes look a little bit thicker, and to also balance out the thick winged liner up above. With an E47 tapered blending brush, it's got nothing on it, I'm just going to blend out all those colours underneath the lower lash line together so it looks much softer and less harsh. This little baby here is my Eye of Horus black pencil liner, it is the best black pencil liner, I love it so much, and I'm applying that to the inner rim of the top and bottom lash lines. <laughs> that looks so bad up close, ew. This is the Sigma Monumental Lash Mascara. It's a new one and I really, really like it if you want volumized but lengthened lashes. It's really good. I'm applying that to the top and bottom lashes. By the way, I do have a discount code for Sigma, so if you want anything that I've mentioned, you can get 10% off. I'll put the discount code in the description box down below as well. Now I'm just applying some false lashes. These are from House of Lashes and they are synthetic. So, there we go guys. That's my eyelashes on and the look is complete. But I hope you guys like this look. Let me know in the comment section if you did happen to like this look. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. Come on, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I will pop them here for you. And I also do have Snapchat. Check the description box down below for that because I'm trying to Snapchat every day. And yeah, I will add you back on Snapchat. I'm adding everybody back on Snapchat because... I think it's a fun place to actually see who my followers are and like see the old real people because that's like, I feel like I'm always sitting here chatting to you but I never actually like can see you, do you know what I mean? But on Snapchat I can't, so that's always nice. Okay guys, I'm going to go and wash my face. <laughs> I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys! Contour with my Sigma F05 small contour brush.